This is Tamara. Hello. And we've just come come back from watching Burlesque. So we're just here to tell you what we thought. The story is basically Christina Aguilera as, I don't even remember her name, oh yeah, Ali, short for Alison, that's Alice, Alice, that's right. Yes. <laughs> um, leaves a small town to go to LA to become a singer-dancer person. How much to Los Angeles? One way or round trip? You're kidding, right? Um, so it's just like half the movies you've ever seen in your entire life. It's a musical. Oh, loved the music. Yeah, if you don't <laughs> like musicals, you won't like the movie. Oh, I love musicals. Love them too. <laughs> uh, a lot of the music reminded me of Chicago. That kind mm. of catchy beat. Um, Moulin Rouge also came to mind. Timing. But it wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but it was entertaining. The music was good, the performance was good, like the dance routines. Um, most of the acting, there was, you know, the odd spot, you know, fell a little short. Um, this might be sacrilegious for a gay person to say, but I think she's a bit past it. Her acting was fabulous. Her yes. interaction with the other actors and her character, fantastic. Couldn't fault it. Her singing... It was a little off. Not quite Whitney Houston bad, but we're getting there. <laughs> and that first costume she comes out in... Yeah. She's not as young as she used to be. And the, um... Even on the younger ones, it wouldn't have looked right. <laughs> But, and, and she didn't move, was the other thing we noticed. It's like she was too frail or something. She must be that old, she can't do anything. She sort of wandered around the stage in the, in the first number she did without doing anything, just standing and walking and doing the hand. <laughs> you know, the burlesque. <laughs> that's about it. And then in the second number she did, she was sitting for the majority of it. Yeah, but that's the kind of... I know, it was a, it was a sad song. I know it was appropriate, but it's sad. like... I don't think it really impacted, like it didn't suck you in emotionally. Like I've, I've mm -hmm. been to movies before where yeah. you're watching it and you hear, when something happens, you hear the whole audience sort of just laugh or the whole mm -hmm. audience go, <gasps> yeah. and there was nothing, there was no, no moment like that where I really thought, oh fuck. <laughs> Obviously musicals, mostly people go to to watch the musical numbers. Yeah. And I think the musical numbers were pretty, the, pretty up there. But the storyline wasn't too bad either though, like... <laughs> the storyline was so predictable. Go! The relationship between Christina and the love interest guy, Cam, whatever his name is, he's adorable. Like, oh, I don't know I if don't I go think... towards adorable, but ha! Just, yes. I thought he was adorable. Yeah. With the, the eyeliner kind of was a bit. Forget the eye. <laughs> but I love the hat and I love the whole bit. Yeah, it was that. There was the whole hat and. The vest. box of biscuits. We the, won't explain on that, but it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> and I honestly had to keep looking back to the fact that it was Christina Aguilera because I'm so used to seeing her just singing in that. Mm. And I think she. Has she been in a movie before? <laughs> didn't realise that she was actually the lead and I thought yeah. she did quite a good job. Okay, granted yeah. a couple of scenes with her crying and that. Yeah. A bit fake. <laughs> yeah, but she wasn't great on the um, emotional roller coaster. No, but just... And it was good to listen to her sing. Yeah. Because man, that chick can build out a tune. <laughs> yeah, she was good. She was really good. Because when they started singing um, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, yeah. I'm like, wow, Moulin Rouge. Yeah. Um, and I was so <laughs> glad when she took over the last bit. Yeah. Because yeah. it was kind of a little bit... See, that's another trick they stole from Chicago as well. Because in Chicago... Yes! What's her name was... It was. It did remind me a lot of Chicago. It especially did. with the music. Isn't that the chick that was backstage yesterday? I want to be up there. I want to do that. It was entertaining, not groundbreaking. No. <laughs> so to wrap up, I'm giving it four stars. I'm giving it four out of five too. Excellent. You'll be back next week to <laughs> do the Green Hornet. Goodbye. Farewell. So <laughs> Remember, with that, don't pull the trigger. Let me hear you say, yeah!